We had a huge gap between the last map of Skyblock and now, but it is finally back on a brand new refreshed reset server. Guys, let's get into episode number one of Skyblock and start our journey to become the richest island here on Minecraft Skyblock. Yes, hello everybody and welcome back into a brand new episode and season here of Minecraft Skyblock. Today, of course, we're back here on the server Akuma MC on a reset Skyblock experience. Hopefully, you guys are excited for this episode because I have honestly been waiting for Skyblock to come back for such a long time. So the fact that we are here and the fact we're on a brand new map with some new changes and, you know, a potentially new island is going to be super, super awesome. So if you guys are excited for this, hit that like button right now. If you guys want to join me on my Skyblock experience or make your own island with your friends, make sure you do join using my IP. It's up in the top middle and down in the description. Jenazon.akumamc.net and since this is an episode number one of this season, you guys can bet your bottom dollar that we are going to go ahead and give away a top rank in this video. So stay tuned for that because it's gonna get good. Now honestly, it's been such a long time since I properly played Skyblock here that I've kind of forgotten all the progression. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It's, uh, it's, it's not in my head very well. So we're gonna be pretty much taking it straight from the beginning today. You guys are gonna see pretty much my first X amount of gameplay and and I'm not going to do anything too crazy. We're just going to settle in and we're going to get an island going and we're going to get all that good stuff. So yeah, let's uh, let's get started, shall we? Now, of course, we want to make sure we get any ranks that we uh, that we had. So I'm going to slash reclaim. It should give me a bunch of different things, which we'll take. Um, and then, of course, we'll have all of our V kits and stuff that should be available here. I think I have every... How Listen, how do I not have the Valentine's V kit on here? I don't know what the deal is. I definitely should have it. I'm almost convinced that, I don't know, I've been scammed out of this at some point or another. We got, we got it. I, I feel like I got scammed out of that and one on prison so we need to fix that but let's go ahead and create our island shall we so let's is create we are going to call it pepsi since that's what we've done with our gang but an island with that name already exists of course it does of course it does um all right so we're going to call it generation we go that's our that's our secondary to pepsi um so let's go check out our island shall we we're going to do these easy challenges to get us going here because this is going to be pretty much the, the the guaranteed and easy way to start out a map no matter what your experience levels are you pretty much need to do all of these quests when you start off is it's, it's just something you gotta do so we'll be mixing in obviously all the starting quests with all the other things that we need to do today so yeah we will uh we'll, we'll get into it all so we pretty much just got to check out some brand new features because that you know what worked last season won't necessarily work this season and etc like that so yeah is perks it wants me to do now let's take a look at this i think this is going to be a brand new section um so island size perk um mine five thousand blocks and then we'll upgrade our island size that's pretty that's pretty straightforward um afk radius purchase 25 spawners um crop growth harvest 5,000 crops cobble generator perk mine 100 blocks from a cobble gen to get that level up um and that gives better blocks per level warp limit we've got member limit we've got generator limit generators are new for this season by the way i'm sure we'll go over them and see some in a little bit um hopper limit we got robot limit and spawner limit okay so it's pretty it's pretty straightforward we kind of know know those things next up we're gonna mine 32 cobblestone which isn't a problem it might just take me a couple of seconds so let's go ahead and fill that in i'm gonna go ahead and make a gap right here so that we can just stand and mine just like this so we're gonna mine 32 of these it shouldn't take me too long to do this and yes by the way i will be looking to get an island together with island members now i won't release the uh the kind of form for you guys to sign up for i don't know a little bit we'll we'll just kind of do this this start right here on my own um but within the next week or so i'm probably gonna have a form up so that you guys can actually join the island so what i would recommend is you guys jump on start on your like solo island get the feel of it get everything down that you need to do and then i'm gonna be getting some people that are grinding to uh to, to come and help me out on my island so that we can go ahead and go for like a top island so that's essentially what we're gonna do um now we gotta mine a hundred blocks from a cobble stone generator so we're just going to continue doing what we were doing all of these things though are giving me rewards so we uh we, we don't complain about that i don't know whether we have to claim them or whether they're just going to be here i think they're just I, I think they're just already given i'm pretty sure uh, but yeah let me let me mine these hundred blocks here all right quest complete there we go sell an item try using slash sell hand that's easy we'll just sell the cobblestone sell hand there we go done and buy an item from the shop thankfully i think my reclaim is what gave me um uh, is what gave me all my balance because I have f one point something million right now. Oops, I didn't type slash when I type shop. Perfect. Um, all right, we'll just buy a gl uh, grass block. That should be that. Done. Zode. All right, uh, next quest. Open a key using slash keys. We got a whole bunch of them right here. Um, so let's go ahead and I think we've got to go to spawn to deposit them. Or do we not? Do we not? I don't, I don't know. It doesn't 
It's not depositing. Think we can deposit using something here, maybe? I don't know. All right, there we go. I, I worked it out. You just got to look at the ground and do it. All right, let's just open these keys. I don't really know what they're going to give me. We may as well open them all, though, since we're, you know, right at the start of the season. Going to give me a whole bunch of spawners, which, I mean, honestly, we'll take. There's, um, there's obviously spawners that we need and don't need right now. I might have to filter out these rewards, though. I really don't necessarily need sell ones. So I'm just going to slash trash those real quick. Um, and then we will work on, yeah, I think I can filter the filter the rewards. Yes, we can. So let's just enable, uh, sorry, disable sell ones, disable the, these ranks right here because we're not going to need them. Um, I think those are necessary, like, I think those are the, the only ones I need to necessarily disable. I'm actually just going to disable common chunk hoppers because although I guess they're useful to have a couple, we don't really need that many. So yeah, um, let's open the rest of these keys though and see what else we can get now that we filtered out those rewards. Um, storm keys, there we go. Cloud keys, take all of those. There we go. Perfect. We've got some XP pouches to start us off. Money pouch as well. Get ourselves a little bit of funds. There we go. All right, cool. What was the next challenge here? I didn't even see what it said. Uh, vote with slash vote. We could do that one. That one's super, super easy. I mean, we don't even need to do it technically, but I will um, because, you know, we've got, to, we've got to support the server here. All right, voting done. The next one was to place some wheat seeds. So we're already getting into the farming aspect of the game, which is perfect because, you know, the earlier we can get into that, the better, uh, really. But yeah, let me, I don't know. We just kind of need to chuck some things in chests and stuff right now. We've got a lot of, we've got a lot of things going on already. All right, let's, uh, let's talk about the top rank giveaway. So it is going to be, I can't even remember what the rank's called on here. That's how long we haven't played it for it's gonna be the legend rank okay that's what i'm gonna be giving away right now it's a 200 dollars rank for you guys okay this is gonna be absolutely free all you guys need to do to celebrate the brand new season is like this video you need to subscribe to the channel you need to comment your username on this video you need to have connected using my ip which is janazon.akumamc.net of course if you're on bedrock you can't use that one but if you are on java make sure you use this ip and then you just need to join the giveaways only discord press the enter button in there and you are officially entered now please make sure that you have done all the requirements because I will be triple checking with the winner that they have done. Now, if you're already legend rank and you don't need the top rank, then it's going to be substituted for $100 of a gift card balance okay so make sure you guys do get entered even if you're top rank there's still benefits to it yes that's going to be the giveaway for episode number one so good luck uh, to everybody who does decide to enter now let's get this farm going shall we thankfully we've got permanent fly thanks to our uh, you know to our rank and everything so let's go ahead and open up these we're going to make sure that it's within a chunk right here and we may as well do it in this little starting chunk that we've got nicely placed out for us um, so let's go ahead and place a nice little chunk farm right here. Oops, that's one too many. And then we can get our farming challenges done nice and quickly for this. Now, one thing I do want to make sure is that we get a good way through these challenges today because there's basically going to be a lot of challenges which will stunt our progress if we don't do them. And I want to try and make sure that we do pretty much every challenge here with you guys on camera. So yeah, we'll have to see how it goes, but I would like to do them all on camera with you. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do. All right, that's the dirt placed out. Let me go ahead and get myself some. Where is it at? A miscellaneous shop. There we go. Some water buckets because we are going to need a good few of these. Let's, um, let's just do that for now. Um, yeah, let's try and spread it out as best we can in here. I know that it's a little bit broken in the fact that we can't get the perfect um, the perfect placement here of, of water bottle of water bottles, water uh, buckets to um, what is it blocks and everything. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll get what we can. I think if we just do it like this, we'll be good. One, two, three, four right here. All right. I think if we spread it out like this, we should be good and we should have all of our bases covered. So there we go. All right. So now we can actually start turning this into a farm. How the heck is that not breaking? There we go. Uh, we can actually start turning this into a farm now and get our quests complete. Now, I don't think that we have that many seeds, but thankfully because of my re... Wait, how do we get 6 million? I guess all of the like prizes maybe were buffed from, from those challenges or whatever. I don't know, because I definitely didn't do anything worthy of 6 million yet, I don't think. Uh, but we'll take it. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to complain. I'm not complaining. Maybe it was the crates, actually. It was probably the crates, eh? I don't know. I, I didn't really pay attention too much to what the crates were giving me, but maybe it came from there. It definitely does seem like the economy already so far this season is way more overpowered. So the fact that we are 6 million in and we've barely even touched the game is uh, is is pretty ridiculous. So it sounds like we're, we're in for a, a much more overpowered experience this season. All right, so the challenge was to only plant... Uh, uh, like 16 or whatever wheat seeds but we're obviously gonna we're gonna do the whole thing we might as well do the whole farm 
Um, it's going to cost me a little bit here to get enough to, to do that. But honestly, it's not the end of the world. We'll, we'll get a nice amount out of this. So let's go ahead and make sure that we've got enough. I don't actually know how many this will require. Um, but we will find out very, very quickly. It might actually only have been 64. No, there's no way. There's no way it was. Um, but we got to use slash skills anyway. So that is the next challenge. And then I'm assuming that there's going to be a challenge coming up that uh, we actually need to harvest these things. So we will work on that as well. It does look like the growth time is in fact increased on like vanilla, which I think I remember from last season. But yeah, we shouldn't have to wait too, too long for this whole farm to grow out. I'm thinking I probably needed four stacks of these seeds in order to uh, to uh, to freaking cover the whole farm, but that's okay. Honestly, it's uh, we're not. We're, oh wait, I think wait, did we buy four stacks? Maybe we did. Maybe we did. I think we bought just the right amount. Actually, I think we're good to go. It's all going to be required anyway, so we might as well go bigger than we need to right now. It's you know all of these challenges are going to add up. We're going to have to do our, all of our skills and stuff. Which of course our next challenge is actually to take a look at skills. So let's have a look at what we are working with. We of course have our farming skill, fishing skill, grinding skill, logging skill, and mining skills. Now from memory, these are essentially the things which we want to be working on from now because as we get through these levels, we're going to start getting some insane rewards in here um, and being able to get basically free spawners all the way through here. So yeah, that is essentially what we want to be working on right now. So now we've got to harvest 25 wheat for our challenge. Got a couple of money pouches. Let's give these an open and see if we can get anything good. I'm guessing not probably at level one. It probably doesn't really give anything at all, but that's okay. Um, all right, we've got some spare seeds. Not really going to need those for right now. Let's put those away. Okay, let's wait for all this to grow. I'm thinking actually what we could do is since we've got some millions, if we go into mob drops, I think I could buy bones. Oh, they're kind of expensive. Holy. All right, that's fine. Let's buy uh, let's buy two stacks of bones here. Let's get bone mealing this. Let's make it all a little bit quicker. And uh, then, we can, then we can move on to other challenges. So yeah, let's get these nice and grown for us. All right, that looks like that'd be about 64. Let's give it a farm um, and see what we can get. Now, thankfully, auto replant is enabled uh, all the way off the start. They made that change, I think, last season, and I'm very, very glad that they did. Um, so there we go. Quest complete already on that one. Nice and easy. Now we've got to sell 50 wheat. So yeah, we had to technically go for it all anyway. And we do have a wheat satchel. I forget that it gives you that as a reward for one of the other challenges. So that's very, very nice. Let's go ahead and we should have 50. Let's go sell it all. Sell all. There we go. Perfect. And now it's time to take a look at the enchants. So warp enchanter, let's uncover the book that we got because we got a farming book as a reward. If you guys remember, we basically get these books just from doing the action that is uh, that it is to do with. So farming books come from farming, etc, etc. Mining books come from mining and then it will include an enchant that is useful from that skill. So let's see what we want. I guess we'll just go fortune for right now. That's kind of universally useful for all of the tools that we have. We got an XP pouch. Let's use it. We now, it now wants us to enchant an item using this. So let's go ahead and I guess we'll see if we can get this. Oh, we literally can't. We don't even have enough XP. So that is kind of where we're going to get to on those. Although we do have some XP pouches. Maybe it'll get us there. No, I don't think so. I don't think it got us anywhere close, if I'm being honest. But that's okay. All it will require is uh, is is for us to continue grinding the skills and stuff that we need to do. So that's not the end of the world. Now, I don't know whether it's going to come up here, but I was kind of going to just build a quick spawner just to see whether it will be worth it. Yeah, I mean, it's going to come up anyway, so we might as well do it nice and quick. I'm guessing we have some pig spawners. Um, somewhere did we get one in our in our kits or anything? I don't know if we did because I'm pretty sure pig is the first tier uh, It looks like we've got two right here. So I guess we'll place these down We'll just get started on them because I mean it's probably gonna be a challenge that requires us to do a decent amount So we might as well get those spawning in get our first spawner placed down and all that good stuff um, and work on that as we go. Now, what I might do real quick is just to get that XP to get that challenge out of the way is we might be able to use someone else's public grinder if anyone has already got one set up for us to actually just go and grind XP. Now, the only problem is we don't really have a good sword, but hopefully what I'm about to do is going to fix that. So let's go ahead. Let's get ourselves a little storage area going already because, you know, we're going to need this, but we need to check out our, all of our V kits and all that good stuff. So Let's go ahead and let's buy some chests. Let's make a little bit of an area right here uh, that we can start storing stuff in because I'm assuming that we're going to have a little bit of overlap here or overlap um, overflow here. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So V kit, let's go and see what we get this time. Um, Outlander V kit gives me a V kit cluster. We'll take that. Nebula V kit right here is going to give me another cluster. 
Stellar V kit gives me some airdrops. Nice. And I just, yeah, I don't know. We, we got to fix that. Uh, we got to fix the fact that we don't have that Valentine's V kit, honestly. Um, and then where did all the other items go that we got? Uh, did I put them in here? Yes, I did by the looks of it. So we got some more epic airdrops. I actually got some value tickets, which is kind of cool that we've already got that. Um, we actually have some robots, which we could theoretically uh, get going already here, which I mean, wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Anyway, let's open up these V kit clusters and see what we've got. If we've got anything good, let's take a look. I'll take all those spawners. What's the jackpot? I'm going to be a holy pet egg. All right, we might as well take it start of the season we kind of need anything we can get so let's see what we can get from our holy pet egg where is it oh it's right here um all right let's see it's hatching what are we getting we're gonna get a supercharged pet don't even know what that does uh has the ability to supercharge nearby crops increasing their drops okay it was only common though which isn't great um next one is gonna be the chopper pet which i believe is yes it's the um one for trees now we're not really going to be using trees but that is a legendary one so probably is worth a couple of dollars here all right next cluster let's see what we got we've got a bunch of spawners bunch of keys jackpot items gonna be three iron golem spawners not bad we're gonna need all these spawners and stuff for uh for, for later on in the map so we'll take them whenever we get them i'm not too uh you know not too worried about getting those right now um all right next uh, pet eggs. Let's see what we can get regular pet wise. Universal pet and a book finder pet. We'll take the universal and it's masterful. Wow. Okay. That's a huge pull right there. That gives me a, uh, well, I'm guessing a boost on everything. Uh, 10% XP gems and skill. That's actually insane. That's a W pull right there. Not gonna lie. W pull. All right. We'll take that. So now we just got some airdrops. So let's see what these are going to be all about for us. Hopefully they're going to give me some big things. Oh, lots of money coming out of that one. We take those. Lots of money coming out of that one. We take that. That's very, very nice. Very, very nice. We got some cell ones. We got some more uh, pet eggs. We got some more ro mining robots. We take mining robots. We do not complain about mining robots ever. More money packages we'll take. Um, let's just place those two down. And of course, our battle pass is also leveling up. All right. Well, that has honestly given us a very, very nice start right there. I'm not going to lie. That is uh, way better than I was ever expecting to get off the start. We'll take all of that. I'm just going to launch all of this into this chest right here. We've got so many keys and stuff as well. We're doing we're, we're doing pretty well on the start. Not going to lie. Um, we'll go ahead and claim those. Um, let's see what we get from these other holy pet eggs. Maybe we can get slightly better ones than we got before. Because I'll be honest, they weren't great. Or weren't great tiers. Common and common again. Yikes. All right. Yeah, we're not getting we're not getting particularly good luck on those ones, but that's OK. At least we got one absolutely usable one. Like we know for a fact that we'll, we'll that we'll use it and uh, it will be good. So, yeah, let's see what we can get in our regular pet eggs again. Maybe these ones are always going to be insane for us. Let's find out. Book finder and universal again. Universal's rare. Uh, Book finder is rare also. So, yeah, not as good a round there, but that's OK. All right. We have the ultimate airdrops now. Technically, these should be better than the last ones we just opened, I think. Um, so, let's see what we we got money packages we got spawners everywhere sure i'll take it we got uh, we got other things chat colors that we don't really need um, more keys more money more keys i'll take it and last one more pet eggs oh iron golem spawn is actually a very very good pull we'll take that that is a nice pull we'll take those all day there we go very very nice all right honestly not a bad start to the uh start to the season if i do say so myself like we got some some decent things already in the loop here we take these uh we do definitely take these all right let's stack those up into there i don't see that we're gonna need value tickets yet but you know you, you never really know um, all right, there we go. So what was our challenge again? Oh, yeah, we got it in chance. So unfortunately, none of that actually gave me XP, uh, which is unfortunate. But we can, of course, get some if we just mine our crops, I believe. Uh, does it give me XP? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, so we really do got to find a public grinder here. Okay, now I think, I don't know whether we do or not, but we get basically all the kits. Now, does it come with like better tools? Oh, it does. Okay, so that's actually worth noting um, is that we now already instantly have better tools. So we can actually go ahead and use our sharpness five instead of what we were using before on someone else's island because my sharpness none is not going to have the same effect if we're being honest. Um, so we might as well take these starting tools because they're going to be way better. Sure, we'll take that. Does it give me an axe? I don't think it gave me an axe. I don't think we get a starting axe. I don't think we get anything different with that. That's unfortunate. Um, but I mean, I guess we'll just use the one that we have. Oh, we got an XP bottle though. I don't know where I got it from, but we got one. Is that going to be enough now? It might actually be enough. Let's, uh, let's go to the enchanter real quick. 
and see whether that is in fact going to be enough. So we're looking to just put it on the hoe for now. Um, fortune on there. Oh, we can. Okay, let's do it. There we go. Quest complete. W. We take that. That's a nice little W. All right. Now I want us to fish, but to be honest with you, I am not too interested in starting fishing today. So uh, I'm probably going to pass on that one. So yeah, we'll just uh, we just won't be doing fishing right this second. I guess we kind of got to do the quest though, actually, because we need to unlock all these other ones to do with spawners and stuff like that, so we can actually see the spawner progression that we need to do. I can't remember if there's a specific order that we need to do everything in. Like I don't know if I necessarily. Need Need to use pig spawners i can't remember if there's a reason why we would is it the is mastery maybe is the reason why we would no because that's only to do with crops maybe they removed that i don't know i i feel like there was definitely a, a like a certain way that we had to do mobs but maybe there isn't this season which actually i kind of prefer because it means we can kind of just focus on whatever we want to do um so i'm not pressed about it at all it could it could be good for us but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just felt like there was, but maybe there wasn't. Oh, wait, it didn't even say fishing. I'm actually blind. It says get your farming skill to level three. All right, I was about to go fishing, bro. That's fine. We can do farming skill. Not a problem at all. We can uh, we can just grind up this farm that we've literally just planted down and we will be good to go. Um, so let's do that real quick. Let's get that to level three and that'll be a nice little, uh, nice little reward right there. We're already level two pretty much right there and we can probably get to level three, I'm guessing, pretty easily. Ready? Yeah, 10% there. That's not bad. Okay, yeah, we can do this easily. I really thought I said fishing. I don't know why. Um, I'm apparently just blind. So, yeah, it's not a fishing quest. Don't worry about anything I said. Um, we can we can get this challenge done probably nice and quickly here. I'm glad that I made this farm this big, though, because this would have been painful if this farm was any smaller, because I've got a feeling I would have to wait for multiple regrowths. And even actually, at this size, I might have to wait for another regrowth because we're only 50 or 60% complete, and I'm running out of wheat very, very quickly here. I don't know. I don't know if we're even going to get there with this full farm. That's actually crazy. Yeah, we're not. Um, so I guess we should have built the farm a little bit bigger. I, I knew that we were going to need it. But I, uh, I I thought that would at least be enough, but I guess not. All right, while we're waiting for that to regrow, we might as well do something useful. Why not? Um, and doing something useful is going to be getting all of these mining robots going already because we might as well. There's no reason why we wouldn't. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up essentially what this is, um, but I'm going to set it up with like multiple, uh, like multiple of them at once because realistically this isn't the best design ever but it does get the job done so that's what i'm gonna do real quick i'm just gonna make it in like i don't know this the chunk that it's in i guess um but we're gonna tidy up a little bit all right there we go perfect we got uh we got it built so let's just go ahead and uh i think i think this design will work if it doesn't then i don't know bro i don't know what i did wrong but um yeah it should work i don't know why it wouldn't um but there we go if this does work, then we are good to go, and we've actually got a nice little setup here for all the robots and stuff that we're trying to uh, trying to accomplish. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think if I mind this, that should now turn into yes, cobble. Okay, perfect. So now all we got to do is place down some robots. Um, now I've got to figure out where the heck we're going to place those. Now I think I might be wrong, but I think we can just place them in the lava, and we will be good to go. They can only be placed on top of another block. So if we put it right there, there we go. Perfect. We're good. So let's place all these down. May as well. Let's get a chest going as well. Do I have an auto sell? chest yet i don't think i do i don't think that i don't think that's one thing that we didn't get yet that's okay though we can just do a regular chest for now and then we can convert to an auto sell chest when we need to um so let's just put those right there let's turn these guys around so they're facing the right way how many rotations do we need just one yeah and then we can link it to that guy right there there we go perfect so rotate link right there rotate link right there okay now these guys should start going ham uh, which they are perfect that's exactly what we wanted and just like that we've got ourselves our first robot generator going okay it's 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 going and in all that time we've thankfully grown our farm which means i can get this challenge complete for getting my skill level to three uh, very very quickly here there we go perfect easily done now we just got to place the airdrop we got that's pretty easy as well there we go. Get the rewards from that, and that should complete the next one. Place a chunk hopper. Easily done. Boom. Place three pig spawners. Easily done onto this stack right here. Oh, we got to actually, we got to place them individually, I think. Um, let's just do that one more time. Uh, we've already done one, so let's do one, two. There we go. Perfect. Kill 150 pigs. Shouldn't take me too long because thankfully we already got to this point and we uh, we saved up our pigs. So let me go ahead and uh, grind these out real quick. And this has actually been an insane start so far. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm way ahead of my previous starts on other seasons. This is a uh, this is a good amount of progress. Let's keep this up. All right, there we go. Quest complete. And now we have to get our grinding level to three, which is actually what we're on the way to doing anyway. So um yeah. Oh, we never mind. We already did it apparently. Now we gotta get 
get 2,000 grinding actions. Now, this, I believe, is where we can see our grinding actions in here. Yeah, so we basically got to kill two, uh, 2,000 mobs. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. I'm not going to do that one today because, yeah, well, well, we, we do need to do it, but it's not something I want to do on camera with you guys right now because that's kind of boring to watch. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. That's fine. We'll uh, we'll take our progress that we've had today. Guys, I think that's going to be where we end off episode number one here of Skyblock. I'm going to continue grinding. I, if I complete challenges between now and next episode, please forgive me. Um, I just want to make sure that we're getting, like, all the stuff done, all the essential stuff done that we need to do to get everything else moving, uh, you know, fluidly. So that's kind of the idea. Guys, welcome in to another season of Skyblock. I'm so excited to be back, and I can't wait to uh, grind out some more episodes and some more Skyblock content for you guys. Guys, that is going to be it for me today. If you have enjoyed, please make sure you do hit that like button. If you're not already, please do subscribe, and I will see you all in the next episode of Skyblock here on Akuma MC.